You want to smile and be polite. You want to give a firm handshake. Firm handshake. So everyone stand up please. What did I do? Why did I shake the women's hand? Alright, tell me. Stand up, tell me. Tell me. See, you really can't shake a woman's hand until she extends it to her hand. And as you, as you notice, I went in front of every lady, but not one woman put her hand out to me. So, proper etiquette is you never. Shake a woman's hand unless she extends her hand to you. And based on the amount of pressure that she gives you when she shakes your hand, is the amount of pressure that you give her. So if I shake your hand and you shake it very delicately, I'm going to shake your hand delicately. If, she, if you shake my hand very firm, I'm going to shake your hand firm. So, once again, when it comes to shaking a woman's hand, you never extend your hand to her. You let her extend her hand to you, and then the amount of pressure that she gives you is what you give back. Make, maintain a uh, good eye contact. That's very important. Don't display uh, don't display nervous mannerisms. 
Give me an example of something that would be considered maybe a nervous mannerism in a job interview. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sweat. Yeah, right. Bite, bite your nails. Sitting there shaking your legs. Shaking your legs, tapping on a pencil. A lot of women like twist their hair. Stuttering. <laughs> <laughs> going back to the, you said sweating, but going back to what was discussed a couple of weeks ago, that's why it's so important to wear the antiperspirant. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because if you're being asked a whole lot of questions during the interview, you might get a little nervous because you want the job and you're trying to think of the best way to answer that question to get the job. So when you start getting nervous, you sweat. So that goes, that's, that's why all these things kind of tie in together. And what you're doing right here is that when I go to interview, I always put my hands in my back because I do that. And you're working <laughs> that um, So I always sit and I talk with your hands. Yeah, so yeah, I sit and I like until the end. And then, like you say, I'll sit more like this. But, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that's good that you brought that up. That's great that you brought that up. That's why it's important to arrive a little early because when you arrive a little early, you think about those things that you used to do. I make sure I don't talk too much with my hands. Make sure I do this. Make sure I sit up straight. Like, you know, you kind of go through, all right, well, when, when, I, when I walk in, I'm going to shake your hand. I'm going to look at him in the eye. I'm going to give him this handshake. I'm not going to do this. I'm gonna so you can actually prepare yourself. That's why it's important to get there, get there early. Uh, tell the person your full name. That was one of the things you did. You, you didn't say, uh, hello, my name is Tony. You said, hello, my name is Tony Williams. Because if I interview 15 people today, I might come across two Tonys. Or if you have a common name like John or something like that. So you want to introduce your, yourself to them. In full. Speaking complete sentences. That's another thing that you did. You weren't. What's up? I'm Tony. You, you spoke in complete sentences. You, you gave a firm handshake. Uh, you gave eye contact. You said your full name. And these are the things that, you, that you've done just now that I didn't even go to. Yeah. So I want to acknowledge you for that. Do not smoke before the interview. Smoke what? That's why I said don't smoke. Okay. Don't smoke, man. Because if I would have put those smoke cigarettes, then you would have said, well, if I can't smoke cigarettes, can I smoke this? Exactly right. So I'll beat you to that. Do not smoke, period, before the job interview.
Don't chew gum during the interview. Some of these things I don't want to be going into too much detail because it's common sense. Mm -hmm. All right. But have you ever been, and I like using different examples, have you ever been to church and, and have seen a pastor in the pulpit chewing gum? Mm -hmm. I, I have. I have once. Have you ever been somewhere where a speaker is chewing gum? Or someone is, it's, it, it's a situation where now you're paying attention to them chewing gum yeah. other than them speaking. Mm, Just right. take it out. Mm. Once again, some people chew gum because it calms the nerves. 